A recent link suggests that 11 arena maps, 5 BTB maps, 9 forge canvases, 11 new game modes, 8 weapons, and a new PvE mode are in the works for Halo Infinite in the long term. What are they exactly? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. In a recent podcast from Bathrobe Spartan Podcast, right here, this is a real one, uh, talks about new things coming into Halo Infinite, like four new maps like Beltway, Forbidden Solitude, and Cataract, which kind of an odd name right there, but some of the weird things that coming up with this are gonna be some of the extra new content that's been coming in with Halo Infinite in the long term as well. Now this is leaked information, so take it as you will. That's kind of the nature of leaks. You kind of take it at face value, listen to it, kind of see if it matches up with your beliefs of what you think is real and what's coming with Halo Infinite. But now let's take some time to dive right into the details about this. So let's start with some of the arena maps that they mentioned within this podcast. One being Beltway, saying it's taking place in a human and urban environment. Think of a mixture of turf from Halo 2 and Perdition from Halo 4 for the global art and layout. Another arena map called Crystal Cave, which kind of ties into some of the leaks that we've seen previously of some of the images of going around. Like we've seen right here previously, we haven't really seen any of these maps come to fruition except for this upper right one, which ended up kind of being like at Catalyst, but obviously it's kind of like a really early build of it. These might be actual leaks of very early prototypes of some maps. The one we're talking about here is Crystal Cave, this one in the upper left. Saying the aesthetic of it might be a location where they find Needler animation they extract it from there, which would be pretty awesome to see. Forbidden talks about like a long forgotten place overgrown by vegetation. It sounds maybe more Forerunner-like. Another one just called Forest. Again, these are all kind of prototype names saying, think of like a remix of Guardian kind of with a little more vegetation involved. Bunker would be a mix of like a Erosion from Halo 4 and High Ground from Halo 3, which I know a lot of you guys love that map, High Ground, so that's pretty exciting to hear. Solitude, which seems to be an inspired remix version of Guardian, so we could see that coming in as well. Cataract, which is like one of the mixing of Colossus layout with Epitaph floating platform kind of aesthetic to it. But wait, you want a chance to win something awesome? Like a really freaking sweet BenQ projector, 4K 60 frame gaming projector? Well, you have a chance to sign up for a Halo Infinite tournament, guys. We only have four slots left to sign up for it. It's happening this Saturday. BenQ Projector Halo Infinite tournament happening for you guys. Basically, get a chance to jump in and have a one out of 12 chance of winning this. Yeah, there's only 12 slots available. We currently have eight slots filled in. The game mode takes place on Saturday. Not only just me though, it's gonna be fellow content creators of Real Life Spartan, Ubernick, and Nagod have all taken part of this as well. Please jump in if you guys want to try, have a chance to win. Get a team of four, jump in, we'll play it together and have some fun. We'll be streaming it on my Twitch channel. Link in the description down below as always. And with split screen co-op coming to Halo Infinite in season three in November, playing on a small screen is gonna be, well, not the best experience. So jump in, hook a good console up to your gaming projector here, guys. And you'll have a ton of fun. I've been playing around with this a bunch and really have been enjoying it. So if you wanna join in, get a team of four together and follow the link in the pinned comment down below that will take you to all the places you need to know when it comes to signing up, getting information, and also knowing more more about this tournament. So I'll see you all on Saturday. Next to going to BTB maps, one of the maps being talked about is the map called Frigate, which I'm sure is another kind of placeholder name, which is basically this avalanche remake that we've seen kind of circulating around the internet that we've covered previously on the channel here. The map engine, which they mentioned they don't really know a whole lot about, but it seems to be taking place on the Infinity, which is really crazy to hear when it comes to lore style, when it comes to Halo Infinite, right? And so it's think of like a similar mission slash environment of like Halo 4's Spartan Ops. This next leak might make a lot of you Halo 4 BTB fans very happy as the map Exile is mentioned here as a remake in Halo Infinite, which this would look amazing in the subspace engine. The map Wasteland is mentioned to be kind of similar to the environment in the campaign where it's really kind of burnt out and destroyed trees kind of around that area. The last BTB map is called Ruins, which is supposed to be based off of this concept art that we have in the Halo Infinite art book. So this would be a really awesome location to, well, play some Halo in. Next, we're going into the nine Forge canvases that could be coming into Halo Infinite. One of them being a Forge blank canvas site in the Academy, which just kind of has a live fire kind of environment. We've seen this around a couple of times with some leaks out there as well. We have the Forge map of Wetland, which could be very similar to Halo 2's Backwash, is what they mentioned here specifically. We have a Death Desert map, we have a glacier one, space, ocean, deep sea, horizon, which is supposed to be kind of like another forge environment that they don't really have a name for yet, but just kind of like map 
XXX is what they call it. Now having different environments seems to be a bit odd because we've seen this leak going around quite a bit on Twitter. This is the map, well, we all know of fragmentation, but someone leaked it or hacked into the fort to some kind of capacity and made it into a snowy version. I think what we might be able to do is change the themes of these biomes within the game. So you don't need to have like 18 different forge maps, you really just have one forge map and you can choose what type of biome you want to have. So this might not be the most accurate leak, but I think the idea is that maybe instead of having like biomes or forge maps, you have these different abilities to change to these type of types of biomes of like ice, wetlands, desert, things like that. Next, we have upcoming game types coming in for the game, like Assault, Juggernaut, VIP, Kong Slayer, Infection, Purple Rain, which sounds interesting, Escalation, Slayer, Make and Return, Phantom, which is a CTF variant, a one team CTF game, where the other team is invisible, but the other team has threat detectors, and that's kind of how you play out. Sounds pretty interesting. If they can make it a little more stealthy version of it, that'd be really cool. Tank Flag, Sounds really cool, which is again, a CTF variant. The carrier is super slow, but it's also super resilient. Can't drop the flag, you can't return it. Essentially, it's a race with very slow characters carrying the flag. This could be really fun, kind of a mix of like the classic uh, infection mode fat kid, maybe with CTF kind of thrown into it, which I think would be really fun. Griffball, saying this is gonna be making a return, but not without Forge, makes total sense. I think Forge is really tied into infection and Griffball especially. And then we also have multi-team, which we've seen leaks of that already, which we've covered here on the channel. Next, they talk about upcoming playlists and weapons. The playlists that we do know of, that we talked about actually in the most recent video as well. So if you guys want to keep up to date with Halo, make sure you subscribe to the channel here. You have Arena Doubles and Arena FFA, both going to be ranked. So that's going to be awesome to see. I know a lot of people want the ranked FFA, myself included. Definitely looking forward to this as well. Some upcoming weapons, which we've covered also on the channel here previously as the DMR. Some of these other ones might be, are in the game files, but not exactly might be you know something kind of holdover from the previous engine stuff but like they also have like the saw the classic shotgun the spiker the forerunner blaster which i've covered as being like the armament blaster previously on the channel here uh george's chain gun which is mentioned a golf club and a grenade launcher we've all seen leaks of these weapons on the various channels as well again these might be just kind of holdovers in the game files that might not be coming into the game quite yet because they all have their old models, not their like Halo Infinite version, which that'd be very odd to just kind of bring in like the, you know, Halo 4, Halo 5 shotgun into Halo Infinite. It just wouldn't match the art style. Last leak here to talk about a new PVE mode called, well, Extraction. Well, he's played off of that. Which we, we've seen this leak previously, right? Uh, we covered this previously on the channel as well. Uh, during the ramp up to Halo Infinite, we saw these Mega Constructs leaks right here. This one in particular saying Mega Constructs Halo Extraction infinite escape construct action figure kind of thing kind of a weird jumble of names right there but again you can see like extraction being mentioned for halo infinite which we've seen leaks about extraction as well within the game but they say that it's thinking of fighting against waves of banished on current multiplayer maps and basically you take one object and bring it to another side of the map and that's how you win Saying that it should be played in fire teams of like four or six, something around there, and we'll have probably even dedicated multiplayer maps for this, most likely BTP maps, kind of similar how Breaker was a dedicated map to Last Spartan Standing. Same thing, but here with like Extraction, have maybe uh, dedicated, you know, multiplayer BTP maps for this P new PVE mode. So when can we expect to see these leaks come to fruition? Well, they do state that this is going to be like the long-term plan for Halo Infinite. So over the course of the next two, maybe even up to four years, this could be the content that we could be seeing for the game. I'm sure this is not everything that's currently being worked on in Halo Infinite, but these are some of the leaks and rumors that are currently going around that are getting spread throughout the internet. Link to all my sources in the description down below, guys, if you want, want to check them out and see for yourself. But thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to keep yourself up to date. And if you missed any content from me recently, check out the playlist right here. I got link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.